All right, big fella, let's talk about contact. Now, players, they're concerned about the ball's going a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, it's going short, it's going long. But at the end of the day, that is usually all predicated based on how they strike the golf ball. Correct. And when the ball's on the ground, we need ball first, ground second contact. Indeed. A divot after, like you see this little collection. Mm -hmm. Some of them were fat, but they were okay. Now, what is your best drill, no matter who the player is from tour pro, to amateur golfer to improve their ball first, ground second contact. Okay. Well, you know, again, when we're all practicing, we're looking for that kind of instant feedback on, on what we're doing. So again, if we're losing the low point or we're losing that sensation of, of striking ball first, ground second, we've got a lovely little drill here for you to do where everybody I'm sure now owns some alignment sticks here. So if you're going to set up to the golf ball, we're just looking to place this. If I place this now and I just put this inside your right heel, Okay. Now, even if we're doing practice swings to start with, with no golf ball, which I really do advocate for people, just be able to kind of see where they contact the ground because they could do this even in a practice swing. The idea of that being in the visual there, the tendency for a lot of golfers that aren't hitting the ground in the right place is one of two things. We're either not going to be able to shift, if I do this towards the camera, we're not going to be able to shift our pressure to the left, so we'll be hanging back on it. And we're going to be releasing this angle that I've got in my wrist too early. If you do both of those with that drill, you're going to start to see yourself contact this stick a little too early. See it fly and you see it jump off <laughs> on the right. Pretty objective from that perspective. Now, equally, if we're going the other way, if you set yourself up here for me, and we just have a few little practice swings through the golf ball, a couple of references now. All of your pressure's in your left foot on the follow-through there, so you show me once more. Exactly. And even in just a shorter follow-through, again, if I take you all the way back to impact now, you can start to see the hands were leading. Yeah. So I'm just going to have this little short follow through here, holding this unit, all this pressure up in my left foot. Mm. And if I just use that, two or three of those for me here, just striking in front of that line. There you go. Exactly. Now you're not going to be inclined to hang back and release the angle when this stinks on the ground. It's a great <laughs> visual from that perspective. And the, both of those concepts or that little drill will just ensure ball first, turf second, and your compression will go up quick. And I think one of the best things about this, we see players put towels behind and so mm -hmm. on and so forth, is yep. that sometimes the feedback from lightly clipping a towel is not as profound as obviously hitting a stick and seeing that fly all over the shop. Exactly. Right? So just these tiny little swings of getting the sensation of avoiding that, making sure we've got the intent of brushing the ground. Totally. And then the little follow through. Yep. And even holding your finish there and just getting an observation for where am I in relation to my left or right foot. Mm. You'll feel fully planted in your left here. Yeah. Okay. One of the uh, simplified ways that I get players to feel that they're transferring their weight as far yep. through is tap their back toe. Totally right. right. If you can lift that up very easily. Not only does it look cool, but <laughs> you're getting yourself into a position where you've transferred all your weight. And that's really guys. important. That's so absolutely. this drill, you can see, it's going to solve a lot of the issues, the hang back, the scooping, mm -hmm. the contact behind. It's going to encourage our weight to get forward. Yep. Also my arms to kind of get long as uh, well. Absolutely right. Long arc, get that, get those hands as far forward and out and away from you as you wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And for a beginner golfer like myself, just straight off the bat there, being able to feel mm -hmm. us getting ourselves into this position just is going to make such Super a big difference there. Really good there. All right, mate. So I'm going to groove this in with a couple more practice swings. Yeah, perfect. So yeah. two or three practice swings to each golf ball, really feeling where you are in the finish, pressures in your left foot. You obviously can see yourself striking in front of that line, that objective line that we've got on the ground. And just go ahead and pitch one out there now at a nice slow speed. Doesn't have to be too quick. Yeah, fantastic. You can hear the contact. It's a big sign. Yeah, that was definitely ball first, ground Absolutely. second. Absolutely. Now, guys, first of all, having the understanding that we need to strike the ball first and the ground second whenever it's laying on the ground, even up to a three wood, yeah. is very, very, very important. And then this is one of the best drills out there to ensure you're able to do that with a high level of proficiency. You heard it from Liam James himself. Great drill. Cheers, man.